Thailand. Tropical, exotic, unique. In the Andaman Sea off the island of Phuket, there are dozens of spectacular small islands just waiting to be explored. And the best way to experience these islands is aboard your own private yacht at your own luxurious pace with the moorings. Hello, my name is Ian Hewitt and I'm the base manager here at Moorings Phuket in Thailand and I'd like to welcome you to what I think is one of the best cruising grounds in the world. From the Moorings base at Aupo Marina, there are lots of options. Head north and you'll soon find yourself cruising alongside Koh Phanak. Koh means island in Thai. Koh Phanak is over 800 feet high with water deep enough to cruise up close to the stunning rock formations these islands are famous for. Over millions of years, water and dissolved minerals have formed huge hanging limestone deposits similar to stalactites found in caves. There are some wonderful sea caves to explore, as well as hongs, huge openings in the limestone. Hong means room in Thai, and you feel like you're at the bottom of a crater staring up at the sky. After a quiet night at anchor, head north to an island that will leave you shaken, not stirred. Koping Khan, or James Bond Island, was a location in the 1974 Bond movie, The Man with the Golden Gun. Busy during the day, it's best to explore in the morning or afternoon when there are less tourists around. That's one of the greatest benefits of being on your own yacht. You choose when and where to go ashore. Beaches that can be busy during the day are all yours in the morning and evening. At the north end of Pangna Bay is Koh Panyi, home to a fishing village built on stilts. There are restaurants on shore and lots of little shops and alleyways to explore. There's a good anchorage across from the village if you want to spend the night. Heading south from Koh Panyi, the water starts to change. From shallow green in the north, to deeper, clear blue tropical water just a few miles south. There are some choice anchorages in the area. Koh Roy is a picturesque overnight spot with spectacular sunsets. A mile or two south is Koh Kudu Yai. There's a wonderful little cove where local fishermen can be found taking a break in the shade. The Thai people are incredibly friendly and always greet you with a smile or a wave. If you feel like a little civilization, head for Koh Phi Phi Don, one of the larger islands. There's a lively town with shops, restaurants, bars, and lots of entertainment. It's a busy bay, but there's plenty of room to anchor out and take a dinghy to shore. The local boats, or long tails, are often decorated with Buddhist prayer flags. Just south of Pipi Don on Pipi Lai is Maya Bay. Towering limestone cliffs surround an azure blue bay. There are plenty of great snorkeling and diving sites around Phuket. But none quite like this. For years, local guides have been attracting a spectacular array of fish with food, so they have no fear and will eagerly take handouts. On the east side of Pangna Bay on Koh Lanta, you can arrange to go elephant trekking. Since they aren't used for logging as much as they once were, many of the enormous Indian elephants now earn their keep taking tourists on treks into the jungle. I can't believe he's letting me drive the elephant. It's wonderful. They're all bristly, and but their ears are soft, and he keeps your legs safe with his ears, and he's just lovely. 
At the end of a half-hour ride, you are led on foot along a stream through the lush green foliage. The destination, a stunning limestone cave. Another island worthy of a short visit is Kohong Krabi. Anchor offshore and you can take the dinghy or kayak through a narrow passage that leads to an enormous but shallow hong. But by far, the most remarkable hong in Phuket is on Koh Muk. To get there, you must pass through a small dark entrance to Emerald Cave, a 300-foot long tunnel used by pirates in the 1800s as a hideout. When you come to a fork in the tunnel, head to the right. With a flashlight to help navigate, you can swim, kayak, or paddle a dinghy down the long tunnel. No motors are allowed. The hong at the end of the tunnel is huge, 200 to 300 feet across and equally as high. Watch the tide. If it's too high, you can't take a dinghy and it might be easier to swim in. A great last night at anchor can be had at Koh Rang Yai. There's a pearl farm on the island and a chance to buy some beautiful locally made jewelry. Welcome to Rang Yai Island. There's a short talk given by a guide who describes all the different oysters and the wide range of pearls they produce. There's also a restaurant and bar on the island. Head back to Aupo Marina and return the yacht to the moorings base. Your trip might be over, but the memories will last forever. The Andaman Sea is a place of rare beauty. Exploring on your own private yacht provides the perfect combination of adventure and relaxation. The Moorings offers a range of yachts in Thailand. Power or sail, catamarans or monohulls. You can skipper yourself or hire a local skipper to show you around. Call or visit us online and we'll take care of all the details. Thailand and the Moorings, an unforgettable experience.